Welcome to another Drums with Oshin on site. Uh, today we're in Vicar Street with Ben Garrett from Overhead the Albatross where they're performing. Uh, this is the launch, this is the big one, isn't it? This is the big one, yeah. It's been months, months in the making this and it's like, it's kind of surreal being here so I'm just trying to take it all in, I suppose. It's incredible, serious, serious stage setup. The lights look incredible. It sounds amazing from out front. I think we spoke about this when we met down in the, yeah, the dungeon yeah, that yeah. time so we if this has gone back it's probably near a year at this point something like that yeah it's uh, a long time long time it's a long time coming mm. but my word it's worth every second of it's the whole the whole day has just been like <laughs> what's going on like it's just yeah, mental yeah. like packing up all the packing up everything in the studio making sure we had everything and just being like okay we're gonna go and do it now so it's Amazing. It's cool. Don't know how I'm going to eat food. <laughs> no, yeah. Don't know how I'm going to hold anything you down. Have that like. little bit of sort of pre gig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Grand, for sure. You're no pro at this point, anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, since last we spoke, I believe you have been the recipient of a Sabian endorsement. Yes, yes. So, uh, I suppose we'll do a quick uh, rig rundown or yeah, whatever cool. you want to call it. Can I use that word? Uh, should, we, what can we, should we call it something else? To, if you have to. I'm sorry, I just lost, I lost uh, you know, I had a thought, I had something to, call, something to call it. Let's talk about your gear. Cool. And we'll just cut out those words that I used previous that yeah. don't have any relevance. Start um, with the high hats, I suppose. Let's do it. What have you got? HHX, groove hats, 15 inch. Absolutely love these. Yeah. Uh, studio and live, I think they're savage. Mm. I know she went for the brilliant finish as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's gorgeous. Um, yeah, I just love everything about them. I used to have. I used to play 14s, but then, I don't know, I think 15s just started coming back pretty strong, so I was like, yeah, go for them. I'm, I'm with you 100%, 15s and upwards. Yeah, I have the Artisan 14s, they're also really cool. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, so they're really nice. They're oh, good for they're studio cool. and stuff as well. They're so. fantastic. Yeah, a little yeah. bit softer, a little bit quieter, yeah. a little bit maybe, I don't know, darker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, they're awesome. Uh, and then over here. 21 inch. Uh, Legacy HHX kind of crash ride. I, I really I, love this. I think uh, it's the newest one. I think that was pretty much, uh, you know, there was a point at which I thought that was the best symbol that Sabian had ever made. Awesome. I think there was nothing that it couldn't do. Yeah. You know, it so was, versatile. They were designed initially as a ride symbol. Um, most people use them as, as, as you're using it here as a, as a kind of a crash. Yeah. But you, I mean, you use it more than just as a crash, don't you? I know yeah. you use the bell on it a bit. And so yeah, I, lo I love using the bell on like just with drum beats I don't know I just find them so interesting and yeah. uh, I don't know I just love the different all the different ones you can kind of get out of all the different symbols but yeah this one is this is the latest one and I just I don't know, love everything about it love how it looks love how it sounds yeah, yeah. feels great to play it's really light because that used to be a crash sure. my heavy ride I used wow. to have all rides I used to have uh, an AAX 22 inch Omni Okay, as yeah. my ride, and I used to have that as a crash, but I just found I was kind of knackered after gigs because trying to, like, trying to get through, trying to get them to open up in time to mark stuff. Yeah, I just thought that was just too heavy. I loved it still, but it was just too heavy. So this one is just so nice to just it, you cut through it so yeah. easy, you know, it's, so much it's easier. It's softer and it yeah. gives you more at lower volumes. Mm, you don't yeah. have to work as hard to get the whole dynamic exactly. out of it. Exactly. Uh, and you've already mentioned you have a legacy heavy. Yeah, heavy ride 22 inch. I absolutely love this symbol. It's uh, uh, it's a dream boat. Yeah, I had I had to switch out the Omni. I, I I like the Omni as well. It's good for certain things, but just for overhead for this particular band, I needed something that cut through more and it had the wash and the bell on it. It's mm. excellent. So, and you yeah. can just wail on it as well. You can, yeah. It's, it's got the heavy ride right there written on it, so you're like, right, I, go I straight think, through. I think that it could be slightly off-putting as well, calling it, it well, maybe not calling it a heavy ride, because it is what it is in comparison with the other, the ride symbols that they released in the Legacy ride, mm. in the Legacy line. But I think people might get put off by that to, to actually lay into it, as you yeah, say, yeah, as yeah. you suggest. I think it does a lot more. Uh, so for instance, the Omni, was designed as a symbol to be kind of multifunctional. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. you've got that small amount of space on a gig, so yeah. you've got a 22 inch Omni, which serves as both a ride symbol as a crash. Mm. I think this does the same job. Mm, yeah. I think it's it almost does. as versatile as that, as that symbol. Like. The Omni was just too, the wash on it was just too high. Yeah. And this is just has a bit more body to it. Yeah. And it just feels a lot better as well, because the Omni is quite thin. Yeah. So uh, yeah, this one is just, once, once I put it there as my main ride symbol, I was just, I just fell in love with it. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So so chuffed with that. That's beautiful. Yeah, I own. I have to suggest. I have to say, I own all three of these as well. There you I go. Can, I can vouch for them all. Like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this one though, I, I'm, I'm on my way to one of these. Yeah, really. Ah, yeah. I just saw that in the shop and uh, played it for a little bit. I was like, yeah, that's definitely going in. Tell, tell us about it, Ben. What have you got? Uh, it's a 22 inch artisan medium ride. Um, I again brought it out to the studio. It's it's quite. It's actually quite loud. 
it's actually quite loud even when you're kind of just riding on it kind of you're, you're trying to be quiet it is it does open up it kind of yeah. activates quite uh quite easily but just the wash on it is just perfect that's why i got it, it was like as a main kind of kind of crash ride it's it's just perfect for me yeah man so. Oh, I'm so delighted. jealous. I'm, I'm so delighted. I love doing these, but I hate doing these because you sit down at a drum kit. You get ideas. And you've got all this, all this gear in front of you. Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah. Oh, what does that do? I want, that. I want one of them now. Yeah. Uh, and then finally, over here, we have? We have, I think it's a 19 AAX Extreme China. Uh, I saw Troy Wright. Uh, he used one of them on some of his uh, kind of sugar medleys and stuff yeah, like that. So yeah. I kind of tried to base a lot of my symbols off of what he had because I was just listening to his stuff and I was like, yeah, they all sound great. Yeah. So get into Music Maker and see if uh, see if I like, because kind of, every symbol is different, obviously. So you every have to try single it out. one, absolutely. Yeah. But uh, love that as a China. Yeah. Really, really It's, it's happy. A, a fantastic China symbol. Does I, the job. <laughs> I'll, I'll, admit, I'll admit to not being 100% uh, committed to China symbols. Fair enough, yeah. But we, I think we've had a few discussions. We have had you a know. few discussions, but I, I will readily accept uh, and agree with the fact that this is a fantastic sounding China symbol. Yeah. Hearing it in sound check and, and the manner in which you use it, where you're putting it, yeah, yeah, and yeah. what function it serves, yeah, it, it works. Just the job, yeah. I was it, delighted with it. Delighted. It, it really works. Um, let's let's talk briefly about your kit now. You play Vader sticks at the moment, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I play the five five BBs. Yeah, they're deadly. Love them. They're fantastic. Sticks. Got the so Vinny, the Vinny from Codeline. Yeah, uh, I was gonna say tag on it as well. Vin's, Thank you very much, Vinny. Vinny's getting his reps. <laughs> He's getting his reps. Lovely stuff. Uh, so this is it's basically it's a five B just a little bit extended yeah. essentially isn't it yeah. so you've got a little bit more reach yeah. which I find a lot of people will say oh but that's sure that's heavier and a five B is already a heavy stick I actually fe think it feels a little bit lighter it feels a little bit easier to play yeah. because of that extra little bit of length yeah yeah so that's great a bit of flip between the two of them it's good if you're at it like a sweaty gig and your hands going down you just got that extra little bit yeah, to yeah. kind of hang on to so that's it's it's helpful all right yeah. yeah. So those are your sticks, and then the drums that you have here, let's talk about what you have. So this is a drum I got in Australia, it's a blackout pop snare. Oh yeah, uh, so I got that. It's a PDP, is it? I think it might, yeah, yeah, it is PDP, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I got that in, I got that about four or five years ago in Australia. I just saw it and I was like, yeah, $100, taking that, so got that home, so. It's been through the wars. It was left out in the in the cold for a few years oh, out really? in the studio. Yeah, I kind of neglected it for a while, but uh, recently I was like, I'm definitely getting that in, and it yeah. still sounds good. So it's a job. Exactly that. Yeah. Uh, and this snare, this is a little bit of a treat, isn't it? Yeah, this is the Gavin Harrison Sonar Protein Snare, and um, it's got it's super versatile. It's got so many, so much stuff on it. Yeah. Uh, the. Uh, the snares you can just take them off super easily yeah I've got the dampening rings it's got the, the kind of hoop that keeps it in um it just sounds brilliant the second i got it first crack of it and it sounds amazing in the studio it was exactly what you were looking for yeah perfect yeah so, I'm, I'm very impressed with it it's a yeah. serious piece of kit and that's what 14 five and a half this is yeah, yeah. it is yeah the protein snare is protein and then this kit this is a blast from the past yeah uh, pearl masters premium Premium maple. I think this is the same kit as I had then after you. So I had one in black. This, am I right in saying 13, 16, 24? Yep. And yep. it comes with an 18 where you would be sitting. Yeah. Uh, that's where it would be. But it's just, as we were saying, it's a bit impractical. To, yeah. I'm not at that level where I'm just, yeah, just bring the 18 around. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's, it's too much to well, carry. You're, you're already carrying a 24 inch. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, like, that's so. true. Yeah. The idea ah, of having to bring an 18 inch with you as well. Yeah, it's a big, it's a big boy. Oh, I, I, I can vouch for the size of sound you get off that. Yeah. And it's wonderful to play for the fact that you get everything back as well. Exactly. Like, like there's not the, a lot of the time there's that reliance on having monitors. Obviously you want good yeah, monitors yeah, yeah. anyway, and you've got cans generally yeah. for this gig. Um, but I just always found that it gave you something back. You yeah, felt it. it. Oh, you, you, de you definitely feel this kit. Like you feel it with, uh, it's just a great rock kit. Yeah. You know, you're playing like super heavy stuff or something. You're just laying into it. It just feels like it's, I don't know, it just feels great. It shouts at you a bit. It does, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, here I am, here I am, That's still it. here. And uh, last but definitely not least, you have just behind you there, um, not to be awkward, you have- Yeah, uh, a DTX. A DTX Multi 12. I do, I do. So what, sort of, what, what do you find uh, you're using that for most of the time? I just then? have different samples on it. So yeah. I just have different sounds from the album and stuff like that, kick drums, snares. Got a, a weird hi-hat sound that we had. It was that China and 
some other crash that we used. We made hi hats out of them just for the album. Sure. Because we were just trying to come up with like weird percussion and just, stuff. Just sounds, yeah. So we did that. That's there. And then yeah, it's just snares, kick drum, some weird. Uh, I think that's like a rim sound that Dave messed with. That uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just loads of weird stuff really to be honest. And then it's got all the preset kits that are good for annoying people at rehearsal. Oh, stuff, absolutely, so, yeah. 100%. Yeah, a bit of fun. No one like dropping an 808 chime in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Just in place of a snare. Here we go, stuff. here we go. All the vocal ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I used to love that one. There's the, what is it, the, the, the Roland, the 101, you know, the little sampler that you have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was in a band for years and there would be one of them in the jam room and the lad would just obsess over just pushing it now and again, just mid-song, you just have, yeah, yeah. Very satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, yeah. They're fun. Satisfying, yeah, sure. Yeah. Satisfying. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, for us. <laughs> so, so what's, uh, that's, uh, that's the rundown of Ben's gear anyway, for the most part. Um, that's pretty much everything, isn't it? That is everything. Iron Cobra yeah. pedal. Oh, Iron Cobra pedal, we should mention that. Yeah. Fantastic feeling, the uh, unit. Yeah, really like it. I have the double, but I'm just using the single still. Still working on the old double kick. That's a long-term project. But, oh, sure. Uh, should drums in a general sense Yeah, it all, it's all project. long-term. Everything, yeah. Everything's long-term, yeah, um, so. So what's next for you then? Uh, I know you're doing other stuff. You're obviously uh, you're still playing with. I presume you're still playing with the other boys as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm playing with Lethal Dialect. Um, he's got an album coming out next year. We're still writing that at the moment. We've two more songs to write. Fantastic. So we're in the studio with that, and then I'm playing with the Hit Machine still. Still doing gigs with them. Big Hit Machine. Yeah, love them. They're uh, all a great bunch of lads. I think someone will be here tonight shouting at me and stuff. And Lango's playing. Yeah, so shouldn't we see? Didn't Lango's we see? the hair somewhere back there, but. You'll be playing the ladder and some snare drums and stuff. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, it's great that you've got someone who's so well versed uh, with, with the ladders. Yeah. Well, he recorded on the album as well. He recorded some. Of the he snare was parts. actually he was your ladder player. Yeah, and Ev as well, my mate. Yeah. Ev, so. Yeah. We're gonna have a little chat with uh, with Dan hopefully in a yeah. little while. About he, get, he gets obsessed with the ladder. It's, 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 it's in fairness, it, like he kind was of just, disturbing, you know. He's, he was telling me a couple of bits there earlier on. It's. Um, you, you wouldn't have expected it to be so kind of uh, in depth, you know, mm. you wouldn't have expected to, the, the, for the ladder to be such a nuanced instrument. Um, but there's a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of something to a it, lot, you know? There's a lot going on in that ladder. There's a lot going on there. <laughs> a lot of high frequencies. <laughs> but yeah, and uh, so what's next for uh, Overhead? Do you next think? for Overhead is just keep writing songs. We have a new song we're playing tonight, we released it yesterday. Lovely. So we're just going to keep writing away and album two, I suppose, but nothing's been, nothing's been decided, but. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. see. see how this gig goes first. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, ben, thank you so much for giving us the time. It's an absolute pleasure to talk Thanks. to you. Thank you for coming to talk to me. I appreciate it. Yeah, not at I, all. I appreciate the shop. The shop's absolutely brilliant for helping out musicians right. in this in this kind of county and in Ireland in general. So We're only too happy to help. It's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic to see you here doing this, you know. Thanks very much. Uh, not at all, man. Uh, again. Lovely. Wonderful. Thanks very much, man. <laughs> which, which one, which one <laughs> do you, you go over there over there yeah lovely nice. <laughs> oh.